Hey guys, I'm Colin. I'm back with another Transformers video. And today I've got Transformers crossovers, the X Jet. This is the uh, it's an SR71 Blackbird, and it's done up in the um, X Men colors of blue and black with a little bit of yellow, and got the nice X logo on the side there. This uh, vehicle was originally um, Jetfire in Transformers: Revenge of the Fallen. And you can see, like, yeah, he's he's easily like a foot long, maybe more. Let me go ahead and stand him up against the back wall. He's completely off screen, and I can oh, <laughs> we're 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 doing vehicle mode first, not robot mode first. I got myself all confused. There's Scourge. We've got Hubcap here. I've got Soda Can here. There's Film Noir Spider Man. So like this this thing is a uh, one, two, yeah, at least a little bit more than two lengths of a film noir Spider Man in its jet mode. Just pretty darn impressive. We've got the carbot guys there. Um I got this guy secondhand from Frank and Sons in California. I even still have the uh, price tag back in there on it. You'll be able to see it better in robot mode. This is the underside here, and like the yeah, there's all kinds of robot junk here. Robot chests, these weird lift panel jet things are kind of cool, but like this is the arms here, and uh, where are the legs? The legs are the engines, dude. There's the crotch. We got big old robo crotch there and robo belt going on. Round on the back, you can see there's, you know, more exposed robot stuff. But, like, you know, I give it grief, but, like, they hide the engines so well. And if it just weren't for the fact that anybody that knows planes knows all of this would be more or less smoothed over and closed, they did stuff with it. So, yeah... It, it's actually pretty well done undercarriage. Um, this thing originally came with accessories. It came with this little Wolverine plasma claw thing, which can be pegged onto the bottom there. It came with a, another similar accessory that would peg onto the other wing, which was used as like an optic blast in robot mode. And it also came with two minifigures, a little Wolverine minifigure and a little Sabretooth figure. And uh, I'll bring in pictures of that later on. But uh, let's keep, uh, I don't have, I have the Wolverine one and I ha and I don't have the uh, Sabretooth one. But like the jet mode itself, we've already talked about the underside. The top side looks really nice. It's got a lot of uh, line detail work. It's got a translucent cockpit up here. Nicely painted engines and just... Nah, overall, and I like they got the black uh, stuff there molded in there. Just, yeah, it's definitely a good big old boy. She was capable of doing that in the show. VTOL capabilities, it lift off and take off. Let's go ahead and start transforming her, right? Let's go ahead and fold up the landing gear. Now, we got to start with the legs. You got to start with the legs on this thing. You come up here and, come on, there's this little hook thing that pops onto this tab up in there, and you're going to bring the leg down and away, pop it loose, bring the leg down and away. Now this is going to get annoying up in here, we have to open up these panels on the inside of the leg. Then pull this whole section with the thruster up and away and straighten things out. Now we gotta get this little um, round bit facing forward. So push the leg back, twist at the hip and bring that all down. So again, on the other engine, we need to get in there and open up these panels. Bring that panel up and out of the way. Straighten out the leg. And then bring the hip 
around. And yes, we've got this big old mess here because now we have to take these engines and yes, that's these fins will pop off all the damn time. So I'm going to put those right over there out of the way. Open up the front of the engine like this and then hinge things. There's these double hinges. on the inside and there's also this really strong clip can you see it from here okay here we go here we go these clips are really tight and strong and they're really annoying so you gotta be careful with them but you're gonna swivel that entire housing around and the other side you're gonna swivel that all around then you can hinge things back down Again, using that weird clip on the inside there that I don't like. Then using this double hinge, we can bring the back of the leg, the, the back of the leg up and around, and then close those panels from earlier, and they're going to tab into these slots on either side of the leg. Let's <sighs> try that again over here. So we've got the engine pulled away from the fuselage. Open up the front of the engine cowling. Pull the engine cover away from the internal stuff on the inside there. You see all that weirdness? Swivel that all around. Double hinge this back. Hinge things down and clipped in place. This part is going to come up here. Then these two panels are going to close around there. And then we can straighten out the foot and stand him up. These fins back here are going to swivel backwards and out of the way. And there we have him in his robot mode. Give me a moment here, actually. I need to reorientate my stand. Do you see how tall this guy becomes here? This is hilarious. But no, this is all going to compact down in a minute. So let's go ahead. We're going to take this panel here. And we're going to close that over, revealing the X symbol logo. Take this whole section here. And there's these big old huge armature things up in there. So i got to hold this guy up here now, don't I? Close that panel over. Hinge this entire thing down you gotta be careful that there's this pan there's this tab inside there that will catch on his visor if you're not careful and there's our very awkward head reveal now he's doing the jumping jacks come up here and these are gonna be the arms you're gonna pull those away those are gonna hinge downwards and lock into place now I can re-stand them back up again those tab in come on tab in Straighten the arms down. These panels here, twist them to where the uh, this part is facing outward so you can close that over there and then orientate the arms around. There we go. And now what do we do with that big old nose cone up there? Well, come here to the back and untab. Come on, untab. That all folds away when this part up here opens up. Now, keep it spread out and open and then push it through there to rotate that around. Take the nose cone here, fold it backwards and in on itself. This part is going to hinge down around the back part. And then it's supposed to... Yeah, there's little tabs there. They're going to go into the back. Oh, that just sits up there, I guess. Okay. <sighs> and here we have him in his very awkward robot mode. Part of the problem with him is that 
there was a third mode for this guy, a combined mode, where Jetfire combined it with, with Movie Optimus Prime, and they just ripped that out and just stuck things back together, so it ends up kind of making things a little goofy, and like he doesn't want to stand up very well. Let me bring in... <laughs> oh my god! Give me a minute. He is so ridiculously awkwardly back heavy with all this junk back here that he doesn't want to stand up properly without wobbling and wiggling all over the darn place. Let's bring in Film Noir Spider-Man. Let's bring in Scourge. I've got Hubcap. And I've got my soda can here. And you can see how big these guys are next to this guy. Jetfire was definitely a leader class for a reason. We've got the kind of Cyclops looking head visor going on there. We can open that up and just have some regular robot eyes. He's got these ports on the back of his wrists to plug in the, um, the, the, the claw things. I, I like, he's got, you know, like a generic X-Men mech look. He's not meant to look like any X-Men in particular. The wings are posed. We can see his price tag back there. Um, lots of nice molded in tech detailing. I like all the exposed greebles. And there's the big old fins back there. Articulation wise, his head is on a swivel at the base of his head. And then another swivel, a hinge at the base of the head, and a swivel at the base of the neck. He's got a swivel, universal jointed shoulder. He's got an above the elbow swivel, a nice 90 degree elbow, wrist articulation, a kind of waist articulation, but it's really more for just, well, no, it kind of works back and forth. He's even got kind of a, kind of an ab crunch even up in there. Very, can you hear that? Very nice ratchet hips. Loudly ratcheted knees, knee, uh, thigh swivel, and he's got all kinds of stuff going on with his ankles and like the bowl joint of the thruster and the swivel back and forth. Like there's a bunch of good articulation in this guy, but he's got that weird floppy bit going on there because like on the original one, this was meant to come apart and make armor for Optimus. And they just kind of just made sure it wasn't going to come apart anymore. Should you go get your own? You know, he is a bit of a floppy mess. And, like, he is going to run at least $60 and up because he is one, like, going on a four-year-old figure. He was a limited GameStop release. I like him, but, like, he's kind of a guilty pleasure because of how awkward and ugly that leg transformation is. If you like him... More power to you. Enjoy them alongside me. But, like, there really is better stuff out there than this guy. Um, I'm Colwyn. That's Transformers Crossovers. The X-Jet. It's an alright figure. But, yeah, there's better stuff out there. Thanks for watching.